Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch One. Thanks for logging on. Today, we're looking at the Omega DeVille Chronoscope GMT in stainless steel. You can see this dual time Omega Chronoscope GMT on our website, watchyouwant.com. Purchase it there. And if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc. You can also click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time to see our full listing for this watch with additional accessories included, high resolution images, and naturally complete pricing details. Now on my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you're going to notice this one is a familiar face. I recently showcased this watch on a strap, but on the 9-link bracelet created specifically for this model, the watch has a completely different stance, look, and feel. And to be honest, it deserves a showcase in its own right as a separate model. So 44 millimeters across the round of the case, that's not including the crown and the pushers. It is a huge timepiece. 44 millimeters across, it is an impressive 54.5 millimeters from lug to lug, that is, extremity to extremity. It's actually not outrageously thick considering its size. 15 millimeters, it does have a generously stepped bezel with a little bit of a slope to give your sleeve a ramp up and over the heft of this watch. Everything's nicely proportioned considering the size, but you do need a big wrist to pull this one off. I can say you probably won't want to go any lower than 15 centimeters in circumference, although the sky's the limit as far as the upper reaches of size. You'll be able to wear this watch on as large a wrist as you like with an excellent appearance of proportion and scale. Now the bracelet does change the feel of the watch on the wrist. It's far more imposing aesthetically than on the leather strap, but it's also, surprisingly, softer to the touch and more comfortable on the wrist than the strap. And this is because the unique nine link bracelet is very supple on the skin, beautifully tapered. It has a nice combination of brushed and polished finish, which you can see adds immense contrast along the bracelet, so although it is a mass of metal, it is not an undifferentiated or barren mass of metal. It is quite beautiful. Also nicely channeled on the bottom. You can see the gaps between the links. Now that's carefully finished on the bottom. You can see it's not present on the top, and that's specifically so that it will not pinch skin or pull hair. Now the clasp is twin trigger and double deployant, beautifully polished on the inside. You can see when it closes, it closes securely and it requires positive release by pressing both triggers to open it. And there's a beautiful Omega logo in rose gold atop it. It's a remarkably low profile clasp and you can see a little bit like Rolex's president bracelet. This one's completely seamless with only the logo to denote the partition point. Nicely done, handsome, and it feels as good as it looks. Now you can see that the watch itself remains just as complex as its strap-borne predecessor that I showed earlier. You could see the stepped lugs. You can see the fluting of the lugs, many facets. You can see the drawn lines of tension that are stamped into the case. You can also see that for all of its size and visual impact, Omega was judicious enough to use a delicate and softer satin finish rather than the high polish that could have, quite frankly, taken this watch over the edge stylistically. It's well done and it's measured just to the point that the watch has a lot of personality without being a completely overwhelming haymaker punch. Now the dial is just as involved as the case. The dial is also most of the face you see of the watch as the bezel has been pared down to a minimum. Now the dial's got a lot going on. You can see all applied hour markers, diamond polished, as well as GMT 24-hour Arabic numerals all around the dial for differentiation. Now there is a little bit of a sunburst center to the watch with an imaginary origin point as the actual center of the watch is hollowed out for sub-registers, but there is a gorgeous almost cocoa sunburst that surrounds the sub-registers at center. Now everything is applied and of high grade. You can see the chapter rings outboard of the sub-registers. You can see the bezel that surrounds the triple date. And the watch does have loom, so you can view it in low or no light thanks to the loomed and highly stylized alpha style hands at center. Now, the watch does feature a vertical clutch column wheel chronograph, and that's courtesy of the Omega Caliber 3603, which we are going to re-examine on the case back. Now the watch features a coaxial caliber, 
based on a Frédéric Piguet caliber 1285. Now the difference between the 1185 and the 1285 is first thickness. The 1285 is a little bit tougher, a little bit thicker. Also the 1285 operates at 4 hertz, not 3. This example, at doing business as the Omega caliber 3603 with 36 joules, has a 52 hour power reserve compared to 40 for the basic 1185. So you can see there are many changes. It's also been converted to use the George Daniels coaxial escapement system for long-term timing stability. And of course, in the shorter term, over the course of two weeks, the watch has been passed through the COSC chronometer test. Uh, now the watch does feature hacking seconds, so when you pull the crown, you stop the balance. It allows precise synchronization. And of course, the watch does have a GMT function, such that you're able to move the local hour hand and the GMT second time zone independently of each other. The watch also features 100 meter water resistance, which is perhaps more relevant on this bracelet-borne model than its strap-borne equivalent because without making any changes whatsoever you can simply jump into the water with the crown pushed in. This is a versatile, handsome, and visually impressive timepiece from Omega and it represents a substantial value versus comparably sized high horology pieces like the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore or the Hublot Big Bang. This watch gives you a lot of high horology content in its own right. Aesthetically and in terms of engineering, this is a highly competitive package. You can see it and you can purchase it on watchyouwant.com.